Hi, welcome to Blitz Coding. This is a video looking at 360 degree movement. Uh, this is something which I've got a lot of emails from, from people in the past asking how you do this. Uh, the maths is quite involved, so what I'll do first of all is I'll just quickly show you what the program does and then explain the maths. So you can see I've got a little tank here. Move it around using the keyboard, just normal movement, just like on other videos. But if I click the mouse, it will fire shells at any angle exactly where's, where the mouse cursor is. And then just so much as you like. And that's it. Now the code for this, I'll skip over the more, more basic things. So obviously set up your graphics, so I put a game timer in. Um, because this is just obviously just to keep everything running at the same time, same frames per second on every computer. Uh, load two images in, one for the tank, one for the mouse cursor, which is a target. Set my speed on my tank for its movement, start position, hide the mouse pointer so that you see the uh, target instead of the mouse cursor. Um, there's another video that covers that. Uh, custom mouse, I think it's called custom mouse pointer. Uh, define my shell type, so movement on X, movement on Y, that's per frame. X and Y coordinates of the actual shell and then how fast it's going to go and it's life. Life is just a number I set to like 100 or something and then I decrement that by 1 for each frame so when it gets to 0 it deletes that shell. That's just so you don't end up with thousands and thousands of shells in the computer's memory um, which will slow it all down and crash eventually. Um, right, so the hashes here, these mean that these are floating point values which is important for this type of maths because we're going to be using some trigonometry um, which if we're using whole numbers isn't going to work too well. So we set up drawing buffer to the back buffer and start our main loop. So di equals zero just means the direction of the tank. Um, I'm going to skip a lot of the tank stuff because this is much more simple than what the video is for. So this is just you know key up, key down, key left, key right, um, altering the position of the tank and its direction just helps it decide what um, what frame to draw um, and that's it really so angle so calculating the angle between the tank and the mouse pointer now it calculates an angle first using a tan which is obviously one of your trig functions from school and then you've got the mouse y which is a mouse's current y coordinate mouse x which is the mouse's current x coordinate and then the y and x coordinates of of the tank. Um, so what we're actually doing there is just dividing the difference in y, so the difference up and down the screen, to the difference across the screen, and taking the inverse tangent of that, which gives us our angle. Um, now the angle goes a bit funny if it's exactly 90 degrees or exactly 180 or whatever you end up with negative figures coming back that sort of thing so there's a couple of corrections here uh, which I put in which basically just say things like if the mouse you know if it's on the right hand side of the uh, tank uh, if mouse X is more than tank X then make these corrections otherwise if it's on the left hand side make these corrections and then if it's exactly level with where the tank is um, then make up corrections for the up and down coordinates. This is just so that you end up with a um, straightforward value going from 0 to 360 degrees around the tank. Um, and then once it has that angle, if you click the mouse it can then generate a shell, so it'll make a new shell, and it'll set MY to be the amount it needs to move on the X axis and the amount it needs to move on the Y axis for each frame of animation. So that's just literally just m uh, x is the sine of the angle plus 90 degrees. Uh, I think that's just another correction for the angle there. And then the movement on y is just a cosine of angle plus 90 degrees. The speed of the shell. So that's obviously that can be changed. So you know, make it 100. Run the game. The shells are going to fire really fast. Make it one, and the shells are just going to crawl crawl along the screen and all die before they get very far because they've all got set lives. So I'll make that about 10 because that gives you a you know, pretty decent rate of, uh, rate of speed for the shells. Okay, so the shell starting coordinates, so that's just basically 10 pixels away from the tank in the direction that it's going to move. So if I set that to 100 for each of them then you'll see that the shells actually start 
much further away from the tank than what they should do. So 10 seemed like a good value, that's about how long the, the uh, turret on the tank is anyway. So, And I've got it slightly wrong because I need to adjust both. Okay, yeah. So 10 makes it look like they're coming from the actual turret of the gun. Uh, set the life to 50, obviously if I set it to a smaller number then you'll see the uh, shells will die much sooner because they're in decremented by one for each frame of animation. So update the shells which is simply plus on its movement on the X by its speed to the X and then it's movement on Y times the speed to the Y. Decrement the shell's life by one. If the shell's life hits zero then delete the shell. Simple as that. So then we just draw the graphics, so clear the screen, draw the mouse pointer, draw the tank, draw the line for the tank turret which again is using a bit of maths but it's not much different to the maths up further up the screen, up the code and then use a for loop to go through the shells and draw each of the shells just as 5x5 five five rectangles just keeping it simple obviously you would use your own graphics um, for a proper game wait for the timer and then repeat the loop and that's it uh, the code for this is available to download from um, I've put a link to it next to the video uh, the links should be more reliable this time than what they used to be uh, in that I'm using Dropbox now to host all my files which doesn't look to be going anywhere soon so the links should be pretty secure if the links ever do change though please just let me know in the comments and I'll go through and correct them all okay cheers and see you next time obviously any queries on this just let me know in the comments bye bye